Hey team, it's George here, and I went shopping today and saw masks being used extensively by people, and the vast majority of the people unfortunately weren't using the masks the correct way, and I just wanted to reiterate that. Remembering though that masks generally do not protect against infection with COVID-19. The way that they should be used in the public is to stop you from infecting other people. That said, if you have a known case of COVID-19 or a suspected case of COVID-19, you should be isolated at home. The only reason you would need a mask is if you live in a shared house and you're using a communal space. At that time, pop a mask on, or if you had to go and see a doctor in a, in a medical time or something like that. But generally, the masks in and of themselves that people are using out and about don't protect against COVID-19. The more common mask that's being used within the community is surgical masks, okay? Now, these do not protect against infection for COVID-19 because you can still inhale droplets when you're wearing one of these masks. What they do is they stop people from coughing out droplets that include the virus, and that includes the cloth masks as well. Here's how to put on one of these masks. The colored section goes away from your face. The inside is white. Again, it's best not to touch this as much as possible. The top generally has a little metal bit in there that is used to shape against the nose. So you pop it onto your nose, shape it down, then grab the elastic bands and pop them around your head. The bottom here, grab the very corners, and pull it down over your chin. That's how to wear the mask, okay? Again, just quickly shape it over the nose, and there you go, that's your mask. Don't touch the outside of the mask ever again. Don't pull the mask down to talk to people because then you have no protection and you're not protecting the person you're talking to. And again, when you go to pull it back up, your fingers are touching the inside of the mask. And this is what I saw people doing in Coles all day long. To remove the mask, it's very simple. You just pull it off like that. Now, be aware that the outside of the mask is probably got virus on it. Treat it as if it has virus on the outside of the mask. So you need to fold it, the outside against itself, put it into a plastic bag and then throw it in the bin. The only mask that does protect against you inhaling particles is this type of mask, an N95 or called a P2 mask. Now, these masks cost around about $20 each. So when I see somebody in the shopping center wearing one like this, it really annoys me because they're not wearing it correctly. They've wasted their money and they've stopped a doctor from having one of these masks who may actually need it because these are near impossible to get at the moment. If you happen to have one of these, please wear it correctly and let me show you how that's done. So when you're putting the mask on, don't ever touch the inside of the mask when you're putting it on, because if there's virus on your fingers, it will go to the inside of the mask. Please don't do that. So just hold the mask, apply it against the face and get the elastic over the head. Then you just need to adjust it and then you need to fit it to the face so it's nice and firm. If you have a beard or even stubble like me, that's enough to break the seal and it won't be effective. Now, once the mask is on, it stays on. You don't get to touch it. You don't get to pull it off and on and off and on. And that's what I saw all day in Coles was people pulling the mask down, putting it up, down, up, down. If virus is going to be filtered out, guess where it's going to be? It's on the outside of the mask. So you never want to touch the outside of the mask because when you go to move the mask, there's a chance you'll touch the inside of the mask and that will move the virus around. So when you go to remove the mask, all you need to do is grab the elastic, pull all of that off and it goes into the bin. Done. Okay? Or into a plastic bag and then into the bin. I urge you, if you're going to wear a mask, wear it properly. You put the mask on and you leave it on. You don't touch it ever after you've put the mask on. Masks are irritating, masks are annoying, and getting coronavirus is even more annoying. So if you choose to wear a mask, I urge you to please wear it correctly. 
This includes the hand manufactured cloth masks. They're not recommended in Australia, but in America they have been recommended and the WHO is changing their stance on that. But if a cloth mask means that a surgical mask or a P2 mask is available for a doctor, then I can accept that. Remember that masks in and of themselves are not the only part of the protection. Other things that you can do is washing your hands, socially distancing, and staying home as much as you can. And remember to wash your hands before you put a mask on and wash your hands immediately after removing the mask as well. Please, let's all look after each other. And that includes proper use of the equipment if we choose to use it. Have a great day. See you team, bye.